ESPN 93.5, you have any questions about credit cards? I got a guy, founder of Credit U-Turn, Lee Kendrick. How are you? Doing fantastic. Thank you for having me on. You kind of are well, the guy everybody wants to talk to about credit, credit scores, credit cards. How many credit cards does the average human own right now, Lee? Uh, depending on demographics, uh, nationally it's uh, just a little over two credit cards. Uh, however, some um, families carry uh, several credit cards. What's the number that I shouldn't go over as far as uh, maximizing a credit card? Uh, you should try to maintain a balance of less than 30% of your overall credit limit and ideally somewhere between 1% to 10% uh, so that you're showing and demonstrating that you're actively utilizing your credit and also not uh, overextending yourself. When does it hurt you when the balance stays on there too long? Uh, if the balance stays on there too long, it's not necessarily a bad thing as long as you're showing that you're actively uh, utilizing credit. It's not about uh, uh, you continuing to maintain a balance as much as it is uh, maybe over-utilizing the credit and, and borrowing too much, keeping too much balance uh, on your credit card is a bad Do, thing. Does it hurt you when you cancel a credit card? Yes, it can because you're basically effectively uh, no longer um, uh, having an open active account that's recording for you. So you've stopped uh, the benefit of actually having that good positive credit information scoring positively for you. Okay. So if you have an open credit card and you don't use it, that's still okay because it's zero and you have a $10,000 limit. Yes, it, it is perfectly fine. Um, it used to be there was a myth that was out there that uh, if you had too much available credit that it uh, dinged your credit score. Uh, but uh, it, And even if it does, it's a very, very slight uh, dent in your credit score. So it's definitely more important to keep those open active accounts. Um, additionally, just occasionally, you want to utilize it for something, just turn around and, and charge some fuel on it and then just pay it off shortly thereafter if you're trying to go for a uh, debt-free existence. Lee, is this the case for our young adults in our families? Stevie and I both have some young adults who are just starting to get out on their own, and I want them to start establishing some credit, but I don't want them to go overboard as we used to do in our college days when we got that first credit card because there was a free booth and you got a free T-shirt and all that. Speak to the young adults and their view of credit these days. Um, so, uh, obviously, you hit the nail on the head. You don't want them to overextend themselves. And, and I'll give you a fantastic tip. Any uh, parent out there of uh, young children that are off to college or even prior to going to college, you can add them as an authorized user to a credit card account that you have. They don't necessarily have to have access to that credit card. And if you're maintaining high limits and very low balances, you'll automatically give them a head start in life because they will receive an instant credit score boost. I've actually seen young adults below the age of 20 that have credit scores uh, that rival people that have utilized credit for 30 or 40 years responsibly. There's all kinds of tricks and tips of the trade to get that score up. But it's important, folks, your credit score allows you to borrow money or not get money or whatever interest rate you might pay. Uh, what should we absolutely avoid, Lee? Um, well, you definitely want to make sure that you make your payments on time. That's uh, the number one priority. Make sure that you're making your payments on time. And if you find yourself unable to make your payment for some reason, be proactive. Don't hide. Don't avoid those phone calls. You want the first one to make the phone call to them. Explain your circumstance. And most lenders are willing to work with you, especially right now uh, through the utilization of the uh, CARES Act. Uh, it's a phenomenal thing for borrowers that are facing economic uncertainty right now, uh, but it is up to you to make sure that you're being proactive and reaching out to those uh, credit card issuers. Okay. Well, it's good to talk to a guy that knows the answers to this stuff, and it's in the age of coronavirus, things kind of slowed a little, didn't they? Uh, they sure did. Um, there were a uh, uh, a uh, mass number of layoffs and furloughs and uh, cost of spike in unemployment. Thankfully, it looks like the economy is coming back. A uh, really odd statistic is in April, uh, bankruptcy filings were down 46% compared to April of last year. 
Uh, however, it remains to be seen uh, where that trend uh, will be in two, three, four, five months from now uh, after people's forbearance agreements or deferment arrangements um, have ended. Yeah. Lee Kander, how do people connect with you, find out more information about credit cards and debt and stuff like that? Okay, so I would encourage you to go to credit card, uh, credituturn.com or to go to your app store and search for Credit U-Turn, all one word. Download our mobile app. Uh, we offer an amazing product that allows you to be in complete control of your credit uh, in exchange for you signing up for our credit monitoring service. And if there are any negative items in your credit report, you can also automate your disputes without paying any extensive credit repair fees. Mm -hmm. Uh, listen, it's a huge area to know a lot about. Way to go, because people are always asking you questions.